gross impressions is a universal thing, no matter what you're doing, whether you're on the phone dropping the name, or you're on an ad dropping the name, or you're on a poster dropping the name, or you're on radio dropping the name, or you're on TV dropping the name. It's a name and an image flashed in somebody's mind. And, you know, there, there are many companies out there that have, have learned the lesson of gross impressions, okay? Coca-Cola one day decided, you know, everybody knows who Coke is, so why are we spending money every day at this level on Coca-Cola ads? You know, we don't need to do that. So they, they, they cut their advertising budget. The next day, sales dropped, and Pepsi's took off, okay? The next day, okay? Because in, in, in marketing something, it's constantly being reminded, in a sense. Um, so for people to think that, you know what, I can just do nothing and disappear, and I'm still going to stay the same, well, no, that doesn't work. There is also a concept that you have to sort of keep in mind at the same time, which is now much less relevant than it used to be, and that's the concept of being overexposed. I would say today, any manager that mentions overexposure to me, I look at him like he's got two heads. I say, what planet and what century do you think you're in? There is no such thing as overexposure. Because nowadays, you know, it's not like it used to be when there were three TV channels. And if you're on one of them all the time, everybody in the country is going to know who you are. And you're on a few radio stations. Now there's so many sources of information that you, the population is divided up in so many little niches. I don't care what exposure you're getting on one particular niche. I can guarantee you 90% of the population that's listening to something else doesn't know who you are. Um, of course, the other thing is, is that... The, is that um, and this has always been true, really, you know, is that the more outrageous you are, uh, the more newsworthy you are, and in a lot of ways, almost the more negative you are, the bigger the publicity bank. I mean, it's a sad thing to say, but that's the way it is, basically. So I think from a manager's standpoint, the whole trick of anything is how do I get my act famous? How do I get the act to think on a broad basis and to go out and, you know, hopefully have quality music to back it up? Because in the end of the day... <clears throat> If the product really is crap, well, people will end up discovering it. So you can't, you know, have a bad product and at some point that's not going to hurt you. But if you have a decent product, you know, let's assume that's the case. Then the whole game is how the hell do I get people to know it exists? That is the entire game. How do I get people to know it exists? If they know it exists and they can find it, they can buy it. And that's what it is. That's all management is, basically that.